Hi there. In this video, I'm going to show how you can set up health system in Visual Scripting using my package Spock. The health system is really simple to use and it has a lot of great features that you'll probably find useful for your games. I'll be using this scene to demonstrate how it works, which also can be found in the Spock package. So I have two targets and I want to set up some health on this so that whenever the cannon hits that target, the health gets deducted and eventually we destroy that target. So let's go into our scene and find those targets. So right here I have two targets and I'll go to my scene view to see which one I'm working with. So there is target and target one. So let's start with the top one right here. So for this one, I'm going to go and find the game object that has the box collider on it. And in here, I will create another script. So let's go and add script machine here. I'll create a new graph and I'll name it target health. Click save and that creates a graph for us with which we can work. But before we go into the graph, let's create a way to display the health. So what I'm going to do is actually create a 3D object and let's use text mesh pro text now if you want to create a health bar i'll leave a link to a video where i show how to create a health bar in this demo i'll just display it as text put value of nine for now center it and change the position i'll make some style adjustments on the text and here is what i'll leave as my text be so that is created as well Let's go into our graph and in here we want to add the health logic. Let's look for health system and there is a health system brain node. Now this unit right here is part of my Spock package. So you won't find it unless you have my Spock package installed. And there's a link in description where you can get this package. But the idea of the package is to save time for your game creation. So with this, we have an option of setting what's our max health, what's our starting health, and then if we want to have a hit cooldown. If you want this object to be hit maximum once a second, you can set that to one and that's gonna do that. But if you don't want it to be restricted, you can just leave it at zero. So this graph right here is gonna keep track of our health for this game object. And now we need to somehow trigger the health to be subtracted from here. For that, we can find another graph. And right here we have health system hit, and we can specify what object we're hitting. And since I'm adding this logic inside of the object that I'm hitting, uh, the object I'll be passing is this, and damage, let's set it to two. Now, the way that I'll trigger here is by using the if collide node, and whenever something collides with this, it will be subtracting two health points. Now let's destroy this game object when health reaches zero. And we can listen for that right here. When the health reaches zero, it's going to trigger the dead event. And we can listen here for that and do game object and destroy. And for the object that will be destroying is the parent which has this game object and the text in it. So to remove both of those things, we'll be removing the parent. So let's get parent, and that will remove both of those things. Now there's two more graphs that I have here. It is health system heal. So if you want to heal an object, you can use that graph. And also there is another one to listen for the events from somewhere else. So you can use this node and specify which node has the health system brain graph. And it's going to be triggering these events whenever these events are going to be triggered. So let's actually go ahead and use this unit to change the health count of our text. So let's go to our text game object. And in here, we will create another script machine. And I'll use an embedded for this one. We can remove that add health system event and here we need to pass the target that we're listening that event from 
And now we want to change our text. So let's use set text. And since I'm using text mesh pro, let's find that unit. And here we can get the health points and convert it to string and use that to display the health. Now we can also update that UI whenever we are dead or healed. So let's go and test that out. Now, each time we hit dot target, you can see that that we subtract those points and I got an error for destroying that game object. That's because I'm passing a transform in here. So let's actually explicitly say to get game object and pass that here instead. And now when we reach zero HP, that object gets destroyed. Now there's other interesting features of this health system. And let me try to show some of those. For instance, if you want the health system to be persistent, meaning that it will automatically save, you can add a object variable called a UUID, which is universal unique ID. And for here, you can pass your unique ID for this game object. And if you do that, the health of this game object will be saved. Also, you can configure max health HP and start HP from the object variables as well. If you set those in the object variable, then it's going to use those object variables instead of the ones that you provide on the graph. So let's actually try that. Max HP. And let's say a health of 100 and then start HP and we'll say we'll start at 98. If you click on this subgraph you'll find that I mentioned that right here can you use max HP object variable instead and can you start HP object variable instead. So that gives you flexibility of configuring health points outside of the graph. So you can reuse the graph, but make different targets have a different health. So let's click play and see if those changes that we created actually have been done. So there is our starting point. We have 98 health. And now if we hit that target. Let's hit it a couple times. So 92, we turn off the game and turn it back on. We should start back at 92 because we have the UEID configured for this object. And there you go. It is at 92. So this is the tutorial how to use the health system for visual scripting from my Spock package. And if you have any other ideas for systems to add to the Spock package, let me know and I'll see if I can make those happen.